guys, hope you're well. Same process as ever. Mike's on either side of the room. We'll send an embargo towards the end of 10.30 this evening. Start with uh, Ian, please. Thanks. Hello, Pat. Hi. Uh, can you give us an update on how your team is injury-wise, if there's an update on Kevin and Nathan Aki? Nathan yesterday trained with us. It feels, feels good. And Kevin started to move. But he didn't train with the team. And now we have training in a few hours. And we know exactly what they, they feel. Do you think that means that Nathan Aki will be available for this game then? Uh, he trained yesterday. Yeah, he feels good. Yeah. Kevin has last chance by the sound of it. Uh, training at four o'clock. Okay. Um, you spoke the other day about um, Erling Haaland scoring the 50 goals, equaling a, a record that predated Winston Churchill. I understand your answer was about the most important thing being the team's success. So I, I completely respect that. But do you think he could set a new record this year. He's 13 goals off Dixie Dean's all-time record. Does he have the capability to break that? Thank you to respect my opinion. I appreciate it. Uh, of course, it's good for him and for the team. As much goals he scores to break the record is a good sign. So the magnitude of the record is because for a long, long, long time was not break it. So that's why he's... So that means that all the records will be break and maybe one day himself or another one will break the record that... Uh, Erling is going to set because I'm pretty sure he's going to score more goals in the Premier League until the end of the season. Would it be a source of pride for you as a manager to have managed a player who has set an all-time English record like that? It's difficult to manage. No, would it be a source of pride for you to have managed that player who has set that record? No, the expectations, I don't know what's going to happen in advance. So It's a surprise for all of us, maybe not for him, but in this difficult league, said what he is doing so but in the same time in the same time the so way he behave and do it is you know for the success for the team thank you pat um we're living in a another week of managerial uncertainty at, at other clubs and you know the number of managers that have been sat in this country how how do you observe management now because you never been sacked you've been building clubs everywhere you've been you you're doing this at manchester city how difficult is being starting to be a manager now like uh, like every job uh, I, I think this kind of things happen in 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 the past with a lot of countries and I remember when I was a football player and the rumor or the, the expectations here was no, no, here to give a, you know, five, six years contract and whatever happened results, now it's over. So when some manager wanna become manager and he has to know that the result's not good, you have a big possibilities that uh, you will be sacked and nobody's away from that. So the new ones, the old ones, the, so, we depend absolutely on the results, absolutely. And uh, all the clubs has a lot of pressure, a lot of investments, and a big difference to stay in the Premier League or, or being relegated and all the expectations, the club, big clubs to win Champions League or not be in Champions League. And today we have to know, you are in this business, you have to understand, you have to know it. There is not because it doesn't matter where you come from, where you are, if the results are not good, you you are in danger position to continue to be manager. Do you, do you think it will stop people being innovative with their ideas? You you have tactics that we've not seen before. Other people have done that. You don't know whether they're going to work when when you start doing that. But you also know that if it doesn't work, you won't get the sack. Whereas if you're at another job and you're you get sacked after ten games, you're less likely to do anything different because you know that if it goes wrong you'll be out yeah but you have to know it so sometimes sometimes uh you know football about the tactics more the chemistry where you build uh, all the stuff not just the money staff but the staff with the with the team and and when the connection is good and the result is good it's okay, you, you can continue, but sometimes even doing the same, the same, the, sometimes the connection is not good, the result doesn't work. 
and everybody feels the pressure. So I, I'm not, we are not the managers, only people who have pressure feel the pressure. You know, the CEO, the sport directors, the owners. So the revenues for the, what they invest, they want it back. And, and, and everyone in, when the results immediately, you make a true result, bad results, and we are incredibly criticized for everyone because it's not going well, it's not the same. And everyone expecting Bisak and Bisak because, you know, at the end it's nice, it's attractive. And today is the reality. So when, when you start, you, as much you know it, so I'm sitting here, it's not good, I will be sacked. So as much you know it, everybody has to know it. At, at the end, we cannot expect time, we cannot expect, oh, give me the project, or give me, you know, for one season, second season, because it will be good. I think it's, it's a fairy tale. So you, the manager has not to think about that. It had to think, <laughs> it was not good. Another one will take your position. Pep, um, crazy fixture, hectic fixture schedule for the players just now. Weekend, midweek, weekend, midweek. Very little time to recover. I wonder, obviously difficult for the players, I wonder how that is for you as, as the manager. How is the manager in all of this? Well, I'm tired, but not my legs. So... The tire has the players, but at the same time, it's one month and one more week for sure, and fight for the two more weeks. And we play pff, the last six, seven years in this situation, play six, seven games in one month. How many times? A lot. Mm -hmm. A lot. It's not the first time we play six, seven games in one month. I would say it, <laughs> it happened a lot of times. So everything is here. Now the mental strength will be there. And uh, in that period, is a, the best period we can live. And we are not tired. If you are tired and you have positive thoughts, you are not tired. And now is another opportunity to, you know, it's just six games left. Uh, we have a game, the, one of the games we have to recover and, and go for it. And that's all. And if one player is tired, hands up. Because if you do hands up, it's because you are ready. And when you're ready, you have to perform well for you, for your mates to win the game. You got back top at the, at the weekend with the win against Fulham. Do you expect Arsenal to go back top? I don't control the results for the other ones. I'm enough busy to know what you have to do tomorrow against West Ham because the West Ham maybe didn't do this in Premier League the season that they expect because they have done the last... Two seasons with David Moyes have been exceptional, but that doesn't mean the quality is not there. I used to review the game against Liverpool as one and Larson a little bit, and and I will review this afternoon the game we play in the first game of the league, the Premier League, and the quality is there. The quality is there. I said pieces is maybe one of the best. That scores three goals against Crystal Palace. They attack the chance with Antonio Bowen. Exceptional well, they can rise as an exceptional player. I'm not going to discover him. So the weapons are there. So they are a good team. They didn't do a good season that they expect, but the team is there. That's I don't have doubts any doubts. In one game, everything happened. That's why you have to be absolutely ready.